Oh, I should have brought you shades. Oh, you got your shades. Put your shades on, baby. Let's go. All right, welcome back. Black Magic TV. We are live in a all steel building in the rain. <laughs> yeah. Just really, I, when I asked John to set me up in my head, when he's like, oh, I got you the suite at the one of the sky boxes at the racetrack. In my head, was this was like sheetrocked walls, had carpet. It was nice. And then I got here. It was like fucking water on the floor. <laughs> yeah. He gave you a trap house, dude. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, this is basically yeah, yeah, a trap yeah, yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. I thought about starting to like distribute out of the building at the show. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then I realized nobody wants to buy vegan snacks. That's all I have to offer. Not here, bro. I don't uh, think that's a, I don't think your market. I need cheese. If I, I had cheese curds, I'd be in the money, baby. <laughs> uh, no, nah, man, tacos, bro. Somebody sell some tacos in this dude, motherfucker. Dude, I will get into Somebody that Somebody sell some tacos at this spot, man. They would kill it. They'd kill it. Uh, absolutely kill it. You guys know if you're watching this at this point, most of you know Black Magic TV. We're on location. Um, I, I bought this beautiful horse painting at a <laughs> thrift store in town. I got this nice Asian statue. Jimmy Flintstone provided me with these figurines of a man making love to his sheep and a dead guy with a boner. Hmm. Uh, yeah, look at this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> The fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty interesting. Right, this podcast. Uh, no, this no. is yeah, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm out. Uh, today with me, I have a guy, just a pure madman that I met several years ago. He's from the uh, great state of Illinois. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say Illinois, but everybody no, gets no, mad no, at me when I say yeah, that. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm from Kansas, bro. That's what we do. <laughs> but today I got Henry Villarreal with me. Um, Henry is a, just a, a wild dude that I met a few years ago, and he actually owns a car that was built uh, and painted by a Kansas City guy that's no longer with this John Wiggins, and I saw your car at Iron Invasion, and I tripped yeah. out. Yeah, and then I finally found you there, and then you also were like, "Oh, I've been trying to yeah, figure I've out about it. I, mean, I keep hearing yeah, about yeah. this guy." Yeah, dude, I heard about him. Like, I I knew, but I didn't know the history on the car. You know what I mean? Like, bro, like I, we saw the car in Belvedere, in right. Belvedere, Illinois, right next to Rockford, bro, in a little town. That shit was at a car show. You know what I mean? And uh, the guy had it for sale, and um, you know my my dad at the time hit a like a, a thirty Model A, uh, like. Uh, you know, set up, you know, like real old school. It was like old school, like drag car, like a survivor car from like right. the 60s, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was cool. And um, my pops was like, told the guy that was selling it, he's like, yo, I'll fucking, I'll trade you heads up. And that dude's like, let me drive it. And they literally drove around the car show and then came back. And the dude's like, yeah. So my dad got it. And then my dad had the car for like, two years man but he wouldn't drive it he was scared of it dude and i was like nah man you gotta have this you gotta have this car out this car got to yeah be this car got to be fucking it, it wants to go you know so fucking i finally fucking saved up enough money and i bought it off of him dude and i've just been been fucking raising hell with it ever since bro like fucking i'm everywhere man drive your shit yeah <laughs> you know? yeah no, you definitely <laughs> you know? drive it um drive your shit, bro. where where are you from originally henry um belvedere man I belvedere mean, like, yeah Belvedere, Illinois, man. Like right. pretty much my whole life, I. I what do you do there. for a living? I, I'm a construction worker, man. Degenerate. Sick. <laughs> yeah, union, yeah, non-union. Union, union. That's labor, like an Illinois way of like yeah. saying I'm in the mob without saying I'm no, in the mob. No, I'm not right? in the mob. <laughs> I'm not in the mob. Dude, that's got good health insurance, dude. Like, <laughs> hey, last night we were getting in the car and. Uh, Mike V's brother, I had said something to him. I was like, uh, well, if you're Mike's brother, because I had never met Ryan, I said, yeah. do, you, do we need to, we should probably stop John and let him smoke a little weed before you put him <laughs> to work. And then he, he, we go pick him up at the end of the night and he gets in the car and he goes, he goes, he looks at me, he goes, you know, you were saying before. <laughs> I was like, that's the most mafia shit anyone's ever said to me, dude, because they're from Chicago, you know? I'm like, don't fucking yeah, say yeah, things yeah, like yeah, that yeah, to me, yeah, dude. Yeah. It's like a real culture shock. Um, so you done construction just like straight out the gate? Um, yeah, like I mean, pretty much my whole family does construction. Right, man. I'm just my mom, you know, like. Because you got the one does. homie that's a body guy, right, or a painter? Yes. Yeah, we got. I got a homeboy that owns a shop, um, and then you know we got been. You know, I know a bunch of people. I've been in the. I've been in the lifestyle like before. I was like, 
with like traditionals and customs and shit like that. I was out there low riding right. first, you know what I mean? So, and I mean, like, you're kind of still low riding, aren't you? Yeah, kind of, yeah, but man, yeah. my car's not a low rider, man. I don't got hydraulics on it. Yeah. You know, I don't got spokes. I don't know, dude. We took that Biscayne that's inside, the one that I painted, yeah. and we won best 1960s car at the big lowrider show in Kansas well, City, yeah, and that's yeah. not even, that's just static drop. I could, yeah, I could, <laughs> I could see it, but like, like to you, to it me, needs my to car be has, like, yeah, it's got to have hydraulics. It got to have switches on it to be right. a lowrider. Like, you know right. what I mean? I, I got airbags. It's not the same right. shit. So, I mean, but, you know, like, back then I had a 76 Monte Carlo, dude. 400 small block in it, man. Fucking, I had the stock swivel seats, the captain yeah. seats and shit, dude. But it was beat the fuck up, man. But I was out there hitting the streets, you know what I mean? Like, right. I didn't even have my frame wrapped or anything. I was three wheeling. Man, I fucked it all up, dude. I didn't yeah, know I just doing. destroyed it. Yeah. yeah, I just, yeah, I fucked it up, man. I, that I, happens. I, I mean, that's what you're supposed yeah, to do with yeah, it, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, dude, I was just so excited that I had a, that I had switches on something, you know what I mean? I was just like, yeah. Like, the nicer those cars are, the less people. Yeah. drive them like a lowrider right yeah. so it's yeah, like yeah. my car was a hood cruiser like it was right it wasn't like real nice i had i had switches on it it was all right but it was you know but you drove it yeah, like drove a maniac it. Yeah, yeah. yeah until i fucking broke it to the point where i couldn't fix it <laughs> right now you guys now is in relation to like what's the next biggest town to rockford. where you live rockford okay I, I, we're, I, we're, i'm directly next to rockford okay like, so it's rockford like that's like, like a little like a metropolitan yeah, yeah. right yeah right. yeah i'm i'm 10 minutes from rockford okay so. yeah that's not a bad i've been there before no. i stopped there on the way back from one of the woodstock iron invasions yeah dude yeah. the woodstock iron invasions were fucking those were pretty great. fun those are great the first year they had it man it was a it was a two-day event like this yeah and there was camping and shit no, I was there. You were there? Yeah, I was there. Were you one of the guys that fucking stole the goddamn golf cart and shut that shit down? <laughs> yeah, it was me and John. <laughs> no fucking way. Yeah, dude. Because awesome. John was driving around. We had all this free PBR. Yeah. <laughs> and John was driving around and he, he, he hucked one. He was like hucking them at people in the dark yeah. around yeah, their yeah, campfires. Yeah. And he just whacked this dude square in the nuts with like a rocket launch. He's like, we're like, what are you doing? Dude? You're just rocket launching <laughs> beer cans at people. But yeah, I used to go to, I, I've been, I was around always. I was just like, back then though, that was like pre-sober me. Yeah. So I, like, I was like. Super wild. I was wild, dude. Yeah. I was like wild and like, I was <laughs> working John's table back when he sold the DVDs and all that shit. Yeah, like I was yeah, selling yeah. all this shit. I get paid a couple hundred bucks for the weekend and I just like party. I just get crazy maniac status. That's fucking awesome. Had I'm, to sleep I'm, in the building. Like he was like, oh, you could sleep in that. I figured you just sleep in that room. I'm like, nah, dude, I came to your shows enough I've slept in floors, kitchens, uh, closets. I've slept in... Did he in... expect you to sleep here? No, he just oh. told me, he's like, you could probably just sleep in that room if you want. And in my... But that's when in my head, I'm going, well, the room must be pretty nice if you think I could sleep in there. <laughs> he's a fucking tin Hell shack, no. dude. Hell no, bro, yeah. <laughs> he's... What? Fucking dude, this looks like they're gonna about to film the video like with like the bag over your head. Yeah, this is not. I feel <laughs> yeah, like I, is, I can make. I'm making Al Qaeda yeah, videos yeah. in here next. <laughs> For real, dude. Like Jesus, this is, this is not. This is not the movie. Now you guys, you guys have a car club, don't you? Yeah, Cycle Dreams. Okay, and how many guys you got in that? Uh, right now we got. Is your one homeboy that's always asleep here today? Oh, uh, all um, sleepy. No, no, Miguel. No, Miguel's not here. He's not even in our car club. He's in another car club, but he's always up. Uh, just hanging with you guys? Yeah, but yeah, like that's been like my, my boy since we were like real young. Right. Man. I met that dude when we were 12 years old, man, and we, me and him. Homies like, ever since. Yeah, man, we fucking, man, dude, I do hood rat shit with my friends, dude, and he's one of those friends, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, what's, so what's like, uh, what's, what is it like in Belvedere? You know what I mean? Like, cause I'm like, I was like asking people about here, you know what I mean? Like, I've, I've been here a lot. Um, fucking, dude. like, I've been here. Quite a few times, like yeah. over 10 times I've been in this city for like a weekend, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, even yeah. like when John used to do the retro rewind thing in the winter, I would come up to that. And that was always cool because then you like he would put us in the hotel downtown because it was at that place downtown. Yeah, 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 so yeah, you really yeah. got a feel for like the downtown area. Um, it's just like it's a weird vibe here because there's like I found out today there's like three colleges. So that's why it's like it's like oh. overly uh progressive for what you would expect in a in a small town yeah, in like a, small a small town yeah, like, like this small like, like, shit, you know? yeah, 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 yeah 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 um but what's it like in belvedere, belvedere and rockford man, hey, man well belvedere and rockford is two different places like, right first of all like 
Belvedere police do not play. Like, everybody knows you don't go through Belvedere, like, if you're on some bullshit, because you will get pulled over. You right. Get, you don't. Like, Belvedere's a nice place, man. I mean, like, you got some bullshit, like, everywhere else. But, like, when I moved out there, when I was real young, man, like, it was a small, small town. Like, my parents moved us out from, like, closer to, like, Chicago. Like, we were, like, we used to live, like, right next to O'Hare Airport. But, um. So you're, like, in the it. suburbs of Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in the suburbs. And, um. Then they moved us out to Belvedere, like, in the middle of fucking nowhere. And, dude, like, it was, like, you know, there were there was, like, it was, like, pretty much white and, like, some Mexicans, like, sprinkled in. Mm-hmm. And now, man, like, Belvedere is, like, half and half, man. It's, like, man, there's Mexicans everywhere. Yeah. Fucking, yeah, it's dope, man. There's Mexican businesses, like, yeah, everywhere, dude. Like, yeah, there, I, I, that, and I'm used to that, right? Because yeah, I yeah, live yeah, yeah. in downtown Kansas City, Kansas, so yeah, I, yeah. we have everything. Like, yeah, most yeah, of my, yeah, like, yeah. I have all these, like... Uh, Asian immigrant neighbors and like I live in like a pretty diverse neighborhood mm-hmm. but like I was like I can't find a topo in this town can't there, like you said there's no there's not a taqueria that I no. saw there might be a Mexican restaurant hey, but there's year, no taqueria one year we came out here right and we had the fucking um, uh, the fucking the castle the discount and shit and it was fucking we were gonna make tacos and we're like fuck it we'll get there and we'll just go to the fucking store and buy um, the meat, meat. You know what I mean? And then we'll can't get the tortillas meat. and shit, right? Yeah, we found out, no, we can't. It's not like, like in Belvedere, you go to Walmart, like it got like, you know, it got all this shit, you know what I mean? It got like the real tortillas, like the, the fucking chorizo and all that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they have like, they even have like fucking little prepackaged like um, uh, like taco steak meat and shit like that. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. Bro, like everything. But then you go out here and they don't got shit, bro. Like, Dude, all, like, the, all the major, fuck. the the fucking, the, the, like the chain grocery stores, Hen yeah, House, yeah, Price yeah, Chopper, yeah, yeah. shit like that that we have in town. Because, um, you know, grocery stores are pretty much all local chains, really, you know. So, but they, all of them in, in my part of town, they all have tortillerias in them. Yeah, and they yeah. all have like, like yeah. you know what I mean? Like yeah, the yeah. fucking meat section, it, it looks like the, but there's also like a, a, just straight up like Mexican meat markets. There's Honduran, mm-hmm. there's like a Honduran spot. Well, see like, yeah, like. We got a Cuban place that you, I used to go, they make like a $5, you can get a Cuban sandwich there. Like. Yeah, yeah. Well, see the good thing about Belvedere is like, we're right next to Rockford. Rockford's right. It's fucking diverse as shit, dude. It's like yeah. A, you know, it's an actual city. But, I mean, it's not like, nothing like Chicago, you know what I mean? Like, but, you know, so you got everything over there. You got, they got some, they got some real good fucking Mexican food in fucking Rockford, man. Yeah, there's a, some of them grocery stores, man. Go yeah. sit in the back of them, you know what I mean? Like you said, yeah. man, they, got, they got some of the best goddamn tacos you can Oh, get. yeah, there's like so many taco spots where, there used to be this one where a dude got busted. He had this, uh, there's a chicken painting on the wall and that was like his prize fighting chicken. But they He's ended up getting, for they got painting. busted for cockfighting, dude. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. It's a lot of money in it, man. Yeah, they're probably like fighting dogs or something now. I don't know. It's pretty wild. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. She said they're probably fighting dogs now. Dude, there's so many stra- wild probably, dogs in my fucking neighborhood, crazy. dude. Like, we've been walking down the street. I have a mini schnauzer, and I'll take him for a walk, and we'll be walking, and all of a sudden, there'll be like some like big-ass dog come out of nowhere. It's like, <laughs> oh, wait, who are you? Who, where do you belong, sir? <laughs> Walking. You still kind of live like hood adjacent, right? Like your house. Oh, is like, yeah. So where like I live, is like hood adjacent, right? You're like not, my it, old spot. Um, so I got custody of my daughter a year ago, and I I had this dope like. It's basically it's a they call it an apartment, but it's like a it was like a top and bottom duplex, and it was tight because I had a garage out back. I couldn't get a car in there really, but I I could store shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, it had a nice fence around it, and it was kind of like. Here's the street, and it had like a little hill up, so it kept out the crackheads, you know. <laughs> but there was like there was like meth heads squatting at the house the next heads. door. I found a dead. I tripped over a dead body in the empty lot across mm. the street where I'd walk That's the a dog nice at. Place, bro. Yeah, there was like a drug cartel house a couple mm-hmm. of houses down. I'm, uh, so it was safe because of the cartel. So it was, yeah, so yeah, but it sounds safe, dude. Like, yeah. yeah, like at one point there was like five murders like surrounding our mm. block, and it's like, oh, something's going on here. But uh, I got my kid, and I was like, "Well, I don't want her to like. This is not tight." <laughs> yeah, you don't want to. So I started. It, it was already, it was already I don't want her tripping over dead bodies. Right, it was already school, small, so. and I was like, "Okay, we got to find somewhere else to live that's little, yeah, better." And uh, and I was like doing this shit. I had done the living room to do the show in, and so I found this house for rent, and it's 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 five blocks away from the old place. The old spot was on 10th Street. This is on 13th Street. 
in like two blocks north. Yeah. And it's like a night and day difference. And it's just because of the people in the neighborhood. Like my rental is like the shittiest house in the whole area. But uh, it's cool. Like people. So have, now, the, now you're the one that people will be like. I'm the one. But like, like Fuck, I, this guy's running around. No, nah, dude, <laughs> I, I do because I have my fucking van, and I'm always like out back, and I have to <laughs> rev the shit out of it sometimes, so like keep it running. Yeah, you're and doing real hillbilly white trash shit, dude. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I like I have like four vans in my drive. I have a driveway in the alley, but oh, there's dude. like my whole yard is just full of cars <laughs> that all run. You know what I mean? You got a bunch of vans. That's I have like, like a giant uh, wizard statue on my front stoop and oh like, dude yeah they all I had this custom painted mailbox I I made when I was in school and at, at tech school 20 years ago that I never used it's got flames and wood grain so last week I took an old tire and wheel and fucking made me a pole to go up out the middle of it and uh put that bitch out front so that's my mailbox now and oh yeah your neighbors your neighbors probably love you uh I mean the people right next door their house is it's on par with mine, but they're like on meth or some shit. <laughs> they, Yo, what the fuck? He's so why is your house on par with them then? No, just like <laughs> like they're they they're also meth why is your house the same? They, they, it's a rental. I'm saying like we both have slum lords, right? Like it could be the same slum lord. I don't know. But that, uh that's actually your landlord. Your yeah, neighbors. no shit. No, my land I know my landlord. I have to stand on business with that dude quite a lot. Like, wow, you're a fight your landlord? Yeah, yeah, dude. Hmm. You know, if you have to. I mean, get out of your live, man. I understand. You when know, you go, I mean, when you go four days without a hot water heater, you, uh, mm-hmm. motherfucker starts going, uh, without that hot water, you start acting a little crazy. You I know what it. I mean? No, I get that, <laughs> yeah, man. Like, I got to take a shower, dude. I got to wash the shame off of me from all the yeah. shit I did today. Yeah, dude. I'm working <laughs> that body shop, man. I'm fucking getting nasty. <laughs> but uh I, I like i i go out of my way to make sure i got a nice yard you know what i mean and like all the things i i'm responsible for i make it that's awesome though. better you, you know here, what i mean I, like i love that you take care of your lawn you're like yeah i got like fucking cars everywhere oh yeah i mow the like, tweaker lawn for them because their mower broke <laughs> and they won't fix it so i just like it's like it's like little it's like just a front yard so i just mow i mow mine in the two yards down from me because there's like older couple a couple houses down so i just be mowing everybody's grass so i'm like yeah we can't be looking like the shitty like come <laughs> yeah, on guys we yeah, already our houses unit, already aren't the best like <laughs> Let's at least fucking. Yeah, let's we gotta step it up somehow. I gotta we make. Gotta, yeah, yeah. I, I, I make. I start mowing my grass. You <laughs> see all the fucking, all the people with the expensive houses across the street. They're being out there ten minutes later with their mower. Like, god damn it, yeah. he's mowing that yard again. Again, you, you know you are. I'm out there. I got a life. weed eater. I'm out there trimming it and shit, trying to make it yeah. look good. <laughs> That's funny as fuck, dude. I thought about giving my kids half Chicano, so I was like, maybe I just get her into some Holy gardening. Shit. <laughs> You said I'm just going to let her go and see if... Dude, if it was my house, I'd have her out there painting it, dude. (laughs) She'd be painting the shit out of a wall. I think it's just in her blood. You know what (laughs) I mean? It probably is, dog. Yo, that's funny as hell. You said it's in her blood. Like, dude, like, next week I'm going to get some fucking drywall drywall work. Yeah, she. I don't let her do body work yet. I don't think she's. I think you have to reach a certain age yeah, before that. Yeah, don't want to bring in the fumes. She, she don't have the body work gene in her, you know. <laughs> that's more south 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 Mexican. Yeah, she's not. Those that are the type. body. That's where the body men come from. Oh fucking a. Yeah, but I bet you she could fucking drywall like a mud like mud and tape. Oh, I bet she could. She she one day she wants to be a beautician, the next day she wants to be an electrician, and I'm like, I don't care which one you want to do, but electrical work union electricians a pretty rough gig <laughs> yeah it is man but i mean like a hey, the thing about like in illinois you know what i mean like like the unions are like where you can make real money yeah you know? so fucking dude like it fucking sucks i'm a laborer you know what i mean but i can't even lie bro like i do like what they call like directional boring fucking like directional drill i'm sorry like and i don't work that hard bro because of that dude like yeah, so you'd like I don't do that under a drill. Every day like, you... I don't dig holes every day. I'm not going to lie to everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, nah. I don't like to dig a hole or. You guys use like those big drills and shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm just a dude that tells the guy how to steer it, man. Yeah. So we can get from fucking A to B. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but that's... Then, But there's a bunch of other laborers that like, and you make are like $60 like, an hour. I mean, not that much, dude. But like, if there's any girls, I do make some. <laughs> that's my next question. I didn't know if you had a family or not. Well, oh, I have like... a family. Yeah, I got, I got three sons, man. Six baby mamas? No. I one? Got one baby mama, dude. Dang, are you guys still together? No. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. I know that feeling. Yeah, but I got three teenage sons. Yep. I yeah, got one I got, teenage daughter. I got a 19-year-old. I got a fucking um, 17-year-old, and I got a 16-year-old. All God boys. Damn. 19-year-old joined the union already? No, man. No, he's going to college. Yeah. And my two younger ones, they want to join the union. Yeah. They're going to fucking... Yeah. They're going to come and get... They're going to come and make money. They're like, I don't really want to get into... So the that. younger ones are the tough boys. The, yeah. The yeah, my one, two younger ones. The older one would get a little soft yeah, from hanging with mom. He got, got spoiled. Got yeah. Spoiled. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got spoiled, hey, bro. Keep it real. He was the first, like... He was, he was the, first, the first like, one. Yeah. First grandkid, like, for, like, either, like... For side, everybody, yeah. Brother. Yeah, so they were just like, oh, shit. Like, oh, yeah, know? I met your dad, so I'm yeah. sure he spoiled the shit out of that kid. Oh, man, yeah, dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he did, man. Him, my mom, all You're lucky you ended up with that car. He's liable to fuck around and give it to one of them. Oh, man, nah. Hell, <laughs> hell, hell, it's like, no way. No way, man. I fell in love with that car as soon as I seen it. Like, yeah. for real, man. That car. I love that fucking car, dude. Then, like... Bro, I went through a divorce and everything, man. I didn't lose that motherfucker. I kept that bitch. Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Yeah, I know ain't how you did that. Touching, ain't nobody touching my ride. I've been there. I used Shit. to be a drug dealer. Had it in your mom's name. That's what I used to do. <laughs> everything in my mom's name. Well, I almost put it in my mom's name, but um, I came out of good. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't yeah. have to. So. I'm sure your ex-wife probably, like... She understands. She knows. Yeah. Like, I that, mean, there's that, like yeah. there's, like, certain things that, like... There's two people realizing like, hey, this isn't good for us. Yeah. And then there's like when it goes south and somebody acts crazy and like most of the time I think people can be pretty reasonable and go, Hey, I I still need this guy to provide for his kids. So like I if I take the one thing he loves away, like other than his family. Murder, murder. Yeah. Well like yeah, it's gonna be a whole different situation. I was never I was with my kid's mom for a few years. It was it was rough. We didn't. I never got married or anything. And then I got custody of my kid last year, so it's been a big learning curve. <laughs> She's used to chaos, and yeah, I don't really do chaos anymore. You know. Yeah, you seem pretty fucking laid back all the time, bro. I I mean I can get pretty fucking. That's you know. why when you told me that you're like fucking like like all sober, I was like, there's no way, man. This guy's on. You guys be doing something. Yeah, like, no, <laughs> I've been sober nine years now. and That's crazy. It's pretty wild. Yeah, I mean, I, there's times I get fucking pissed off, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, no. I, like, you I know, my kid called me a faggot and sprayed me with pepper spray one day, so. Wow, that's aggressive, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 but, yeah, no, no. I mean, she, uh, again, she's been raised by, you know, a very troubled person that was neglecting her, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. wasn't taking care of business so like my kids used to like doing shit like oh, i can just go to sleep whenever i can do my laundry i don't need to go to school so it's been she's getting better it's been uh like a year of like you know we're finally in like a chill mode but she's <laughs> yeah, starting yeah, right. like she's like we're i think she was probably we're like starting to get in the groove now like, like i if i like if i really like got outside of the situation yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. she's probably fucking scared because she doesn't know like, this is all new to her. Like, oh, hey, I'm safe. Actually, I'm actually <laughs> safe here. You know so what I mean? Because she was living in Cheyenne, Wyoming. And so, but it's cool. She rules. Like, she's, a, I mean, she's a maniac just like me, too. Yeah, so, yeah. It, that's like, fucking cool, though. Hey, man. But yeah. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, bro, like, I'm kind of crazy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm a little wild, man. You know what I mean? Like, and, uh, like, I love that shit, though, bro. Like, yeah. man, I can't imagine living life any other way, you know? Like, fucking. Dude, I'm just like the perfect example of like, you know what I mean? Like of the bad example. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, I'm still crazy. Like that didn't change. I just, I don't need, the, yeah, no, I no, don't no, need no. that to be crazy. I'm crazy all, all on my own. I got you. I got you. I don't, I don't fucking need it, but I really liked it. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, you know, I don't knock you for it. It's not like you, you know, you're not getting arrested every day. And well, I mean, not every day. I mean. Once in a while is okay. <laughs> But, I mean, like, I do activities. Yeah. You should give me a rest all the time. Dude. Yeah. Fucking yesterday, we left here, man. You know what I mean? Like, I'm in my ride. And uh, I was kind of feeling myself. And, dude, I was... Ah, I was just... Dude, I'm beating the shit out of my car, dude. Like, it's, just, it's so fun, though. You yeah. Know? Like, I, it's just so much fun to just fucking 
get behind that wheel of that fucking sketchy car with fucking, and let her roll and with four wheel drum brakes and go do some fucking wild shit dude like you know drive your shit you know? yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i like that you guys all like that was one thing i really dig is that you guys just you really do drive your cars you we know? drive our cars and a lot, it's like, like we, drive them, we drive them everywhere bro like um we try not to like we make fun of dudes for like like in our club bro like in our our media like club we always talk shit to dudes if they're like one of the guys that got a trailer of their shit, man. Yeah. Like, like I think, in my personal fucking opinion, you know what I mean? Like this whole hot riding shit, dog, all this shit, man, bro. Like drive your shit there, bro. Like, like and fucking I have, beat it up. I have a. I feel that way, but also there's a. I have a clause. But I, like, I mean, sometimes it's too far to drive. Well, right, like you can't drive. It, like you know? I, mean, I understand uh, that. Like, for instance, inside in the building, Eric's car is sitting there, the Acapulco Gold, mm -hmm. and Dave's Econoline truck is next to it. Now, Dave trailered that Econoline. It has slicks on the back. Yeah. It's... A sh it's, well, a, it's a show car it's yeah, not yeah, a, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. a car it's like he'll drive it around Kansas City but you can't easily and comfortably yeah, 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 drive yeah, that yeah, thing yeah, six yeah. hours now Eric got in the other car and drove it in a torrential downpour from all the way from Kansas City here with no windshield wipers fuck yeah so like fucking real hot yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah yeah that's what I fucking talk about that's what I'm trying to do man like you know hey I have no windshield wipers either I fucking I chance it every time. The rain exit. Yeah, man. Sometimes, man, just, just drive fast. Just Eric, drive that's fast, Eric just like, rain exit it twice. Yeah, <laughs> like, I rain exit my shit at the invasion one year because you when it was in Woodstock the invasion it, it always rained. Always rained. Every it rained every fucking year. And one year I was taking off in that ride, and uh, I was me and my friend Pete. They got that chop top Merc. Mm -hmm. Um, and he um, he was like, he was like, man, I didn't rain next. I was like, me either. It's fucking pouring. We are literally squeezing fucking rain axe on our windows and like wiping it down as it's pouring. That shit worked. Yeah. It fucking worked, dude. Yeah. Like shout out to rain axe. Fucking. I, this shit I'm a, works. I'm a big mark for this company called Aquapel. And they have like an applique that you bust and then you, you coat the window with it and then you let it sit for a few minutes and then you wipe it off. You wipe it in. No, I ain't got no patience. There ain't no fucking Aqu way. Aquapel. That sounds way too fucking dude, much. Dude, it works like a motherfucker. I bet though. it does. Well, hopefully, dude, I, I'd love if I could get you guys down to KC on Labor Day because I'm doing my hey, thing man, again. Like, dude, it's, it's... And then that, there's Grease Aramas going on that weekend too so you guys could have a whole action-packed fucking weekend man i gotta talk to the guys you know what i mean but like yeah. i would actually love to do some shit like that bro yeah like, i'm trying to, and plus like i want to go see like other girls you know what i mean yeah. like I, you know yeah i want to get out of this state go to that state yeah because <laughs> with where you guys go you could have a nice like you could hit st louis and then come over to uh kc that way or you could come through iowa you know what we, i mean uh when i'm going there we usually go through like right around st louis and then fucking yeah go to kc yeah yeah, you got to come down. Last time I was there, man, I went there for that fucking playoff game, man. Yeah, I know. This motherfucker comes to town. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even. He comes to town <laughs> last winter. No, it was two, two winters ago. Two winters ago. It's when yeah, it was two winters. Ago. It was this last year. No, was it? Yeah, it was. I don't. Know, I think so. It was either this last winter or it was either in the twenty-four football season or the twenty. No, it was not the 24 for sure. Well, I consider... 22, I, 23 season. It's either 22 or 23. So yeah, in the yeah, last yeah. two years, he... I look, and he's... It, I'm on, I open my Instagram, and he's posting shit, and he's in the city, and I'm going, dude, you didn't fuck? even fucking yeah, tell yeah. me? <laughs> oh, I just... It was a quick no, trip. It was a no, quick trip. No, the best part. The best part about that whole shit is, is that I posted a picture of just the inside couches of this little hole-in-the-wall strip club, and you were like, oh shit, I know where you're at. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> you did, I've lived there my whole life. Yeah, yeah dude. Like, yeah, All I'm, those places. It's like a, a weird couch. thing. I posted the couch and you're like, oh. Restaurants <laughs> come and go. The strip clubs <laughs> seem to stay forever, dude. Man, I, ain't nothing sells like that. There's always some other criminal that just takes it over. <laughs> For real, That's though. all it is. I mean. No, it is. Yeah, that's really. Fucking, yeah. I've never met a strip club guy that wasn't doing dirt. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I never, I never met a strip club owner that wasn't a fucking creep, dude. Yeah, like, creep. Usually yeah. like a cokehead. Yeah, yeah. They're super creepy, dude. Like, yeah. Like you'd have to be. You know, like, they're well, like yeah, Andrew I mean, Tate creepy. 
just sitting there like this and shit. Yeah. All the time. Or yeah, they're in their office, just like, like <sighs> Yeah, come in here, come in here. Hey, come in. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Yeah. What are you, yeah. you want some of this Coke? No, man, I'm cool. I'm not, I'm not a big lie. fan of strip clubs. I've I'm only not, been to see, a couple. I am, dude. I am. I, uh, I'm a, I like strip clubs. Yeah. I like anything that like involves us getting like, you know what I mean, a little wild. Yeah. Little crazy. I'm hilarious in a strip club too, man. Like, you know, I be telling girls I'm going to pay their fucking light bills and shit. I be like, who want a Nissan Altima? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who wants a 94 yeah. Maxima? Yeah, yeah, fucking 1998 Honda Civic. Who needs a 97 <laughs> yeah, Toyota yeah. Corolla For sedan? Real. All the thought vehicles, you know what I mean? The thought. <laughs> <laughs> dude, those are all the thought vehicles, dude. A Maxima. A Maxima don't trust Maxima it. with, with bitch, rims Maxima. Uh, on tent. Hey, dude, yeah. On tent with the fucking, with the rims all scratched up. Don't trust her. Yeah. yeah. Some Walmart. And they're like Walmart rims, though. <laughs> yeah, she got the, the, Walmart, the Walmart rims. Up road rims. rash to hell. <laughs> yeah, dude. And two car seats in the Window back. Window tent that some dude named Chauncey probably did. Yeah, so it's like yeah, bubbling yeah, off. Yeah. The corners are all hanging up. <laughs> yeah, doing two car seats in the back. Yeah, with a with a, with a fucking with a bunch of fucking McDonald's. Only fries. two because the other three <laughs> babies she just throws on the fucking floor. <laughs> oh oh shit. man, dude, there's gonna be somebody that has a fucking an Ultima right now. <laughs> That's like fucking. I, I grab an Ultima, yeah, dude. Uh, we just described them perfectly. People are always like leaving like the comments people <laughs> yeah. leave on like the little shorts I put up. We're like, cool, cool audio, dude. And I'm like, yeah, oh, it beg my pardon. I'm I'm a fucking body man, not a. I'm just learning how to do all this on the fly here. Yeah, man. Dude. I'm no audio video engineer. I'm like, doing the best I can. There's sometimes where I want to like comment on a video, and then I'll be like, oh man, no. That's right. I'm a grown ass man. And I'm not going to fucking say anything about yeah, this. I, uh, fucking, I, 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 I tend really to not respond to, I just don't ever respond to anyone. Yeah, 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 For yeah. the most part, I just post and ghost. But sometimes there's some of them where I just like laugh at it. And I'm like, I just like write something funny back. Mm. Like, I was like, oh, I'll, you know, I usually get sarcastic. Like, I'll be sure to uh, put that down on my list of shit. I'm not going to lie to you, dude. Like, I have nobody like, there's nobody like leaving bad comments on my shit. Because like, my Instagram, I don't have like... I'm not it's like your friends like and that. homies, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, it's my family. This is like randoms on like YouTube yeah, and TikTok. Saying, yeah. Like not even people I know. Totally it's just like, like random people, right? I don't right? get that. Like, because I might get like super disrespectful. Motherfuckers say some dumb shit and I'd be like, that's why your mama's fucking fat. Yeah. You know? like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know? Oh, no, that's my first instinct, <laughs> but I learned a long time ago. Whenever yeah, the first yeah. thing I think of is probably yeah. the last thing I should be yeah, doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why you got a club foot, bitch. Like, there's like, there's people in town where I'll say some wild shit. And they'll wait to see me in person and be like, what the fuck was that, dude? And I'm like, shut up, man. Yeah, man. I don't know. I would say the same thing to your dude, face man, if yeah, you yeah, ever yeah, had a conversation like, yeah, with bro, me. Like, yeah. People be like, oh, you're going to talk about my back? Like, no, nah, I just didn't I see got you. This, I, got, I just didn't see you at the time. I was, there's I one, of my, you, one of my buddies, uh, my buddy Russ, he always, he, like, he, he listens to all of them. He's a truck mm -hmm. driver. So I always, like, try to rib him somehow. But, like, he was getting his seat down. I was, like, talking shit and instantly. I know he's listening to it because he's like, God damn it. Talking that shit again. <laughs> it's like he'll just text me. I'm like, yeah, dude. He's a truck driver? Just, yeah. Fucking, he's texting while he's living. driving. Texting while you're fucking driving, God damn, Russ. Dog, not safe. He was not telling safe, me the dude. other day some guy that works, uh, he's he's independent driver, but they like contracted to this company. They haul chemicals. It's like a super primo gig. Yeah. It's pretty tight. But uh, he was telling me some guy that they that works with them that's another independent guy got our or no his buddy he called me asked me if i could fix his buddy's hood for one of his trucks and i was yeah. like what he's like yeah this fucking idiot uh the driver was watching a movie and not <laughs> paying attention crash? driving a semi truck watching a movie <clears throat> dude with a full load and runs into somebody <sighs> on the interstate hey man dude fucking dude like not everybody's smart I, I think trucking was probably better when they let them do speed all the time. Yeah, they probably did. Dude, that's <laughs> the heyday of trucking. CB radios and methamphetamines. Yeah, dude, like everybody wanted to that be should smoking. be a document. I should make the documentary. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Hey, can I be in it too? Yeah. I'm not, I have nothing to do with it. Yeah. I like being in shit. Never man. done meth and I've never <laughs> used a CB radio, but by God. <laughs> but I'm in this fucking documentary. Yeah, but I'm in here. 
Yeah. You'll be my interviewer. I'll yeah, let you yeah, interview yeah. the people. You should let me interview people. Be like, so how was it and shit? <laughs> yeah. How, like, what was it like yeah. and shit and stuff? Yeah. How did you, like, <laughs> you like the meth? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. The CB radios are probably cool, but what about the meth? How are the lot lizards in yeah, 79? Yeah, I was like from A to B. Like, Dude, but also like, to, like to, it would be wild to talk to some of those trucking union guys from like... Uh, Are they demoing this place? Or I don't not? know. It sounds like <laughs> yeah, it. Good yeah. Lord. Dude, look at the I thought it was coming yeah. down. It's coming down on us, boys. You fucking set uh, me up, bro. You set me up. Set up. Did my ex-wife hire you? A dude comes in. <laughs> yeah. Here, a dude with an AK and a machete yeah. comes in. Hop, 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 hop. Oh, fucking. Shit, no, don't worry. I locked the door so yeah. nobody could come in on us. It's, it's probably right, somebody beating on one of the doors. But uh, to talk to like one of those some of those old truckers like during like the mob heyday in the 70s and oh, fuck, shit yeah, and dude. 80s like it'd be cool to talk to some of those guys now you i mean all, all the like, they're all dead all, well, they're all dead now well <laughs> not all of them but like most the, of them the tr- like, i'm talking mad. about the people that were like working you know what i mean but like all the mob dudes are all they're all on youtube like say all those guys that we're talking about don't rat don't snitch or just have podcasts now yeah, i'm like what the everything. fuck telling tell everything, everything dude like, they're telling everybody hey they're telling everybody everything that one like, dude got himself everything. arrested for tupac's murder yeah. For going on fucking Vlad TV. That's crazy, dude. Hey, man, social media is a motherfucking disease. It's and crazy, do man. Dumb shit to get motherfucking attention. And, yeah. And, bro, hey, you know what, though? Like, it's fucking, it's hilarious. Uh, I'll tell you that. Like, it it's is funny, funny as fuck, dude. Like, some of these motherfuckers just, like, just do dumb shit. Yo, your, your place is getting knocked down right now. Yeah, so he's in the next yeah, one yeah. ever. We're fucking dead. We're like, done for. We're fucking dead. Fucking dude. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna smoke a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh, shit. Yeah. Get the fuck out of your house. And like, no. Yeah, dude, this trap house is fucking. It's trap It It is, dude. Trapaholic. It's, well, it's, it's, it's a fucked up place. It is. Yeah, dude. Well, dog, I'm glad you got to come on. Mm hmm. This was sick. This is fucking awesome, actually, dude. Like, pretty fucking... Pretty yeah, you gotta dude. come to the city this year. I'm gonna make that I'm a, happen. I wanna I want come to the city, bro. Like, I'm gonna, you know, ha- I'm gonna like, harass your dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. I, I yeah. would say I hate your dad. Your dad probably didn't have a fucking Instagram, though. My dad does not have an Instagram. My or dad can Facebook. barely use his phone. Yeah. Yeah. You just, have to, you just give me his number and I'm going to start spam texting him like you have to He'll come so to Kansas confused, City. Man. He'll be so confused. Hit me He'll up. He'll be like, what no, the I'm fuck? Like, <laughs> What's going on? He's like, Henry, do you know what this means? What is this? Yeah. Just start sending him gang terminology. <laughs> now nah, he might know that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Keep it real. Like, but I'm allegedly. <laughs> well, if you guys want to find Henry, you can, he's on Instagram. Yeah, good fella Henry. Yep. And then uh, if you're in and the. Be- it, and also, like any like like tattooed broken girls, you know what I mean? Hit me up. I'm broken I'm tattooed women. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, it's my if you're thing, in the you know Belvedere I mean? area yeah, or yeah, you're willing to travel. Yeah, yeah. I hate to break it yeah. to you, Henry. Not a lot of ladies watching this show. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. No, nah, never mind, dude. Fucking don't even post it. <laughs> nah. <laughs> don't even post this shit. What are you, a stand up comic? <laughs> oh shit. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh. And we'll uh, catch you next time. Yeah.